Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Jack Long from Space Games and today we have an exciting Star Citizen gameplay video for you. But this one is not just any ordinary video, it's a special tutorial as well. Or maybe it's better to say, let's watch the video and learn together. In this episode, we'll explore a combination of an official personal mission called Seize the Data, Salvage Operations and Container Farming. Thanks to a fellow player on Reddit, uh, apologies for forgetting their username, we've discovered a method to farm huge size free SEU containers, which proved to be incredibly useful for bunker missions and collecting valuable loot. This becomes especially important now with the 15 minute trespassing timer. So let's dive into the details. I've played this mission countless times with my friend Henry, but we never thought about this simple idea until now. <laughs> First, let's board the black kite oh, and retrieve the encryption key. Uh -huh. Love it. I actually like the ship too, I have to say. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, my landing was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Along the way, we shouldn't forget to take care of any enemies right. we encounter. So I know for a fact there's one guy just here. If you ever feel lost doing the mission, don't worry. Just refer to the next mission goal displayed at the top of your gaming screen. The initial steps of the mission take place on the habitational deck. From there, locate the elevator that will take you to the salvage processing level. Once you arrive at the salvage processing area, take cover and eliminate all the Nine Tails fighters. <laughs> There's one there in the back. Let me let me. He jumped on that box, man! Wow! Additionally, you'll need to insert the encryption key into okay. the server as part of the mission requirements. Oh, really? Now here comes the important part for the container farming. Make sure to loot all the fallen enemies by dragging their undersuits into the vehicle's storage. This action will generate the large containers once the mission is completed. To heal yourself. Oh. Is it true? Yeah, look. I can point it at myself. So that's why I don't bring the med gun anymore. You don't need to. <laughs> okay. Very but, good. But did you try it already? Yeah, it works. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I don't take the med gun anymore because I don't need it. Um, and that means I can parry a knife instead. If you come across weapons next to the bodies, remember to drag them into the ship's inventory as well. Once you've cleared the area, make your way back to the habitation deck and find your way to the bridge. There's only one guy? Yeah. Find a data yet? Yeah, we've already done that. Oh, you did it already? Yeah. <laughs> you keep me updated, man. I don't know shit. That's yeah, funny. I found the chip. <laughs> okay. Uh, you go right and I'll go left. Yeah. Oh, looks like I was the unlucky one. Oh, there's another guy. He's literally right around that corner. He's in the door. You could stealth attack him because he's looking at me. Ah, oh, awesome! <laughs> that was so cool. But he is awesome. alive. Yeah, just stomp on him. Hold on. Uh, next, we need to go down here and turn the shields off so we can start salvaging. Oh yeah. Pretty cool. Um, but I have the feeling it's the same spot we have been last time. What's that? Well, the Reclaimer. It spawned at the same spot it did last time. So I'm pretty sure other players know where it is. For me, it's always spawned randomly. Okay. It's always been in a different location each time. Well, uh, roughly anyway. So, last time I was un undisturbed. If we get, we should be fine. There we go, shields down. 
When you reach the bridge, take the pilot seat and disable all shields. This is the perfect time to salvage the hull. Remember, the mission is only considered completed once the ship is destroyed. So let's salvage first and complete the final step once the Vulture's cargo is loaded up. Kind of found the right way already. Awesome. So. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ooh. So it's the same to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Spinning around. Uh, yeah. Now I have to find my way back. Oh yeah. There we go. And now we can salvage. Uh, which module are you using? The upright. Yeah, me too. It's a bit better for a ship like this. But I know that I'm going to get money from it as well. <laughs> That's what makes it so <laughs> Yeah, happy. yeah, yeah. It's so... All right. Eating oh, I got up. The, got the 200k yesterday. I was like, oh, finally. A bit of money. <laughs> uh, is the mission only accomplished when we self-destruct? Uh, nope, we can just blow it up from the outside. Awesome. That is awesome. I did not know yeah. that. Well, I think the only reason people did self destruct is because that's what's easiest. Like, that way you're not sitting outside trying to blow it up. But the box is. Be sure to leave enough room the in the cargo for the containers. It, it can be a bit of a. like. lucky dip in a way. Like, you can sometimes get loads of cargo, and then sometimes you'll get, like, no cargo. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a lucky dip. But, yeah, they work. Like, if you just want to just do some salvaging. Then... Oh, what? You serious? Oh. What the fuck? What? You serious? What's the time? Oh, yes. Yeah, close to popping. Close. After you finish salvaging, avoid destroying the ship with again. the vulture. As you can see in our attempts here, we fail a few times. Instead, serious? destroy the black kite by entering the that? ship one last time so and good. activating the self-destruct sequence.
just make sure you get away from the ship and maintain a safe distance of at least 300 meters or you experience the consequences. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky this time as I was too slow getting out of the reclaimer. But fear not, watch the video carefully and remember the steps. This should help you avoid my mistake. <laughs> As you can see, I may have had a bit of a rough time, <laughs> but one thing did work. We generate a size-free container. Alright, I'm back and ready to continue. This time I will successfully complete this mission. And there you have it. Let's retrieve our first free SCU container. Let's open it up. And voila, all the loot is right there. Isn't that amazing? It seems my scanner has detected another container just a few meters away at a different wreck site. Let's go and grab it. There it is. Let's open the cargo bay and load up our second container. Excellent loot in this one as well, although it appears to be from a different mission. But hey, we gladly accept gifts too. <laughs> so, how much can you earn doing this mission? Well, it depends on the size of your crew. But if you're doing this solo, I would estimate at least 100,000 Alpha UEC in salvage materials. You receive 50,000 Alpha UEC for completing the mission, plus an additional 500 Alpha UC for each Nine Tail soldier eliminated, totaling 4,000 Alpha UC. So that's a grand total of 154,000. Okay, that's it for today. I have to fly back to Port Tresler and pack my ship. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this kind of content helpful in learning new ways to make money in the game, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the verse and remember to be respectful.
Thank you for watching.